But you mentioned the nose tackle position, and we want to remind everyone that they can catch the full conversations uh, right on a Stitcher, Podbean, and iTunes at Mark Rogers TV. Just search that, and also, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, Kenny Bigelow, uh, Josh Fatu, they're the two guys that uh, at least uh, grab my attention in regards to name recognition. Uh, outside the program, uh, is, is there a particular player that you think uh, is is standing out at this point? Because we understand that that uh, the the philosophy is to stick with one guy primarily. I, I don't know if I'd say standing out. I think they're going to go uh, young. I think uh, Marlon Toy Polo too is the guy to look at. Uh, Kenny Bigelow is a big name, and you know he had uh, the, all the stars and stuff coming out of high school. But sometimes guys you know, go through injuries and, and just don't end up playing. And I think that he's kind of projecting to be a guy that, you know, might just not have the career that he was expected to have. And I think that uh, some of these younger guys that they've brought in look the part. They might be young and they might get handled early on, uh, especially in the season going up against 20-something-year-old guys. But I would expect them to go young on the defensive line. I'd also expect them to kind of – run a lot of two down linemen sets. That's what they do a lot is Clancy Pendergast defense is described as a five, two, three, four hybrid, but they do pull that, that third defensive lineman in the middle out a lot and go to a nickel. So I'd kind of expect them to rely on their defensive backs more than their defensive line, just based on what they're returning.